Hello everyone, this is Hugh, and in this video I'm going to show you how to get started with Forex Tester 2. So just for reference, I am currently using version 2.93. Now you've downloaded Forex Tester 2, you've installed it, maybe you've played around with it a little bit. Um, so how do you get started with some serious testing? So the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure that this drop down is in history mode. And history mode might look a little different from your testing mode, so don't worry about that. The next thing you want to do is you want to go to tools, and then you want to go to options. Um, and down here where it says initial deposit, you want to set that to something that's realistic to you. Um, if you're going to get started with, you know, a hundred dollars, then you should put a hundred dollars there. If you're going to get, if you're going to do a thousand dollars, you know, whatever, a hundred thousand dollars, whatever's um, so it's your situation. So just set that there first so that um, whenever you test uh, It'll be realistic uh, So you just want to click on OK and then now go to tools data center and This is the data center window. So on the left here are the pairs that have been set up already um, There should be quite a few um, at least the major pairs so, but if you need to add them, then you just add them here. You type in the symbol, um, put in the information that's specific to your broker, and hit OK, and it'll get added to the list. Um, the next thing that you want to set up here is the symbol properties. So, uh, the default will look something like this. Uh, okay, so the Swiss yen. So, it's going to default to the 100K lots, um, and the margin is going to be you know, uh, the 100K margin. So what I would recommend doing is switching that down to something that's realistic to you. So for example, with that $5,000 initial deposit that I had on the previous screen, I, um, I would be trading only a thousand unit lots and this would be my margin, which would, you would get from your broker. Um, you can adjust the spread if it's significantly significantly different from what your broker has um, But otherwise I didn't touch anything else. So um, If you need to change that you just click on change properties and you just set that all up here uh, The next area down here is the history uh, There's only going to be one broker available right now, and that's the default Forex tester uh, data provider um, the data is excellent. Uh, there's, I have no problems with it. So if you just want to use that, that's great. Uh, the next thing here is the time shift. So the data is in GMT. If you do want to convert it into your own time zone, then just shift this bar here accordingly. Uh, for example, I'm in Hawaii, so that's GMT minus 10. So you just set that there. Um, but for this example, and then if you click on OK, then it's going to um, shift the data and it's going to do a little bit of processing. So don't worry about that um, But I'm just going to cancel that so it's going to set it back to um, GMT which is zero uh, so Right here it shows the available data that's actually on your computer right now So I updated the one minute history to August which is the most recent right now But if we go back to another pair, let's take the euro for example um that was updated back in May, so that's something that I would need to update. Um, this bar here shows tick history. If uh, you have tick history available, or if you're subscribed to the service and they offered tick history, then that would show here also. But in most cases, there's going to be no data, and one minute history is perfect for anybody because um, most people aren't going to be trading tick or like scalping. So uh, that's great. If you need to update it, just highlight the pair that you want to update, click update from server, take the defaults, update, and then it's going to do its thing for a minute. Okay, so the data has been updated from the server. As you can see now, it's current to August 31st. Which is great. Um, if you have your own files, maybe from a different data provider, you can upload them here also. Um, they just need to be in ASCII format, CSV or text, or MetaTrader 4 history format. 
So you can upload that there. Uh, if you want to export this out to Excel or something so that you can do some other types of data crunching, you can export it there. Uh, but for the most part, that's all you need. Um, one thing to mention also is that Forex Tester 2 has a subscription service. So this data is free, but if you want to have updated versions from specific different specific brokers like GFT, I, I don't know which ones are actually uh, available, but for example, if it was GFT, then you could download the data from GFT, etc. Um, I've never had the need to do that, but it may be helpful to you. So that's a monthly subscription service from a Forex Tester. After you load the data, then you want to generate ticks. So in order to generate ticks, you just click here to check the pair that you want to generate ticks for. And what generating ticks does is it loads, it takes the data that you downloaded and it loads it into the Forex Tester testing mode so that you can actually use it to test with. Um, if you want to test multiple pairs at the same time, maybe you're doing some sort of a correlation strategy or something, you can you can uh, check multiple pairs and uh, it will generate ticks for all those pairs. Just be sure that your symbol properties is set up correctly. Otherwise, you might be trading 100k lots on one pair and um, 1,000 uh, unit lots on another pair. But for most people, you can just use one pair at a time. So I'm just going to generate ticks for the euro US dollar. It's going to give you this screen. Just take the defaults and they generate. Okay, after that's generated, that window will disappear. So we'll just click on exit. And then now that everything's set up, let's go back to testing mode. And your screen's going to blank out. Don't worry about that. Uh, when you pull down this menu here, you're going to get the pairs that you generated ticks for. In this case, just the euro US dollar. So you can open that here. Uh, one thing to note is that you can also open multiple windows at the same time. So let's do another one. And this is really useful because let's say that you have a, a strategy that generates signals on a daily chart. So we'll set this one up as a daily. And then on this one, we're going to set it up as a 15 minute, maybe use the 15 minute as a way to fine tune your entry. So that's how you would uh, watch them at the same time. Then you just click on start test. Oh, I'm sorry. Then you would add your indicators here whatever indicators you're using. Uh, let's just use a random one like this. You would apply it. And then the indicators uh, added there. And then you would click on start test. And for your first test, you can start testing from the first datum range. If you already have a test going, you exit Forex Tester and you come back in um, and you want to continue the test and you can this button will be available where you can continue the test but this is our first test so we're gonna just start testing um, you can save the project if you want to but I'm not gonna save it right now and there you go so that's how you get started I hope that helps and thanks for watching